Good morning everybody, welcome to chaserainbow.co.uk. My name is Neil Cotton and today we're going to take a look at the new Sonderbike Frontier V2 frame set. Okay, so this is it, the new Sonder Frontier V2 frame. I'm a bit late to this party, it was released in late October 2019. I was away on holiday at the time, so I've only just had the opportunity to collect my frame. There are a few uh, subtle differences, a few changes to the frame that are gonna make it considerably better than it was before, actually, and it was a nice bike before. So there have been some geometry changes. I'm not entirely sure what they are, apart from the fact that the uh, chain stays have been extended by 10 millimeters. Uh, Neil did tell me the reason they've done that, but I've forgotten. There are also some additional braces been put in, uh, to stiffen things up, I think, because of the extension. Uh, of course, the new frame has gone to a bolt through rear end, which is going to be really nice, which makes life a lot better, because the old one was quick release, as you can see, possibly on this one. It's also gone bolt through on the new front fork, which will stiffen things up really nicely as well. Ooh! The other fundamental difference to this frame, which for me is a bit disappointing, but hey ho, is the fact that the previous incarnation, the V1, had pannier rack mounts, and this one uh, doesn't appear to have them. So any kind of long distance road touring with panniers that I may have planned is now out of the window. Hey ho. I do like the new color. This is listed as black on the website, but it's got a hint of kind of graphite about it, a sort of greyish black, and I like that. It's not a colour you see very often. Yeah, and I think it's got it. This is also a medium frame set. I sit right on the cusp, I'm five feet six, and I sit right on the cusp between a small and a medium frame set. And when I bought the original one, I went for small. And actually, and it's really nice, it's great on the trail. But I think for the long distance kind of bike packing that I, that I plan to do and a lot of my kind of single speed training, which is usually 100k plus, I do think the extra, extra reach is going to make it a little bit more kind of comfortable over those big long efforts. Um, but we'll see, obviously. The other two Sonder bikes that I own, the Signal Tie and the Cortex, are both in medium frames and I absolutely love them. I've done some massive days on them and I've never had any kind of comfort issues or aches and pains whatsoever. So uh, I think it's a smart decision, I'm pleased with it. Also with the longer top tube, it means I can possibly run a shorter stem as well to give me a bit more precision in the steering. Currently I think that's a 50 or a 55, and I think this is 35, but I can't remember, which is good, obviously. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do now, really, is I've got to start stripping this one down and move on to building this one up. So we might do some time lapse and stuff, who knows. So when I bought this bike originally, I set it up as a single speed, and I'm gonna set the new one up as a single speed as well. But I converted it to 10 speed for some road touring that I was doing. All the components came out of the shed, pretty much stuff I'd got lying around and spare and left over. The only thing I really had to buy was a new set of wheels uh, from Alpkit, but the Love, Love Mod um, Hobo 29ers because it's a boost frame and I didn't have a boost wheel set at that time. Now all of my bikes are boost.
Right, so I've stripped down the old one, the V1. I've started rebuilding everything back onto the V2 now. There's going to be a couple of bits that I need to buy, I think. Uh, I may need new brake hoses to start with. So I've put the fork on, get that in position, the bottom bracket's on. That's it, really. I've got to now cut the uh, uh, tube length for the fork and then put it all back together really so what I'll do is I'm going to build that up and then I'll come back later and we'll go through the build spec do a little test ride and uh, let you know what it's all about Ta-da! Here she is, all trail ready um, Got it built up, uh, finished believing the brakes tonight it's been a, about a week actually since I last filmed the video. Weather's been a bit wild if I'm honest, so I wasn't really in a particular hurry to get it going. I'll talk you through the build. So uh, let's start at the front. We've got uh, the shed build from, from components that I kind of dug out. XTR brakes, nice. Uh, quality touch, 160, 180 and 160 rotors. Maxis 235 icons, uh, nice tyres, fast rolling, great for the kind of gravel work and single speeding that I'll do on it. Uh, we're running a Sonder Rigid 4, which matches the frame, obviously. Uh, Sonder uh, proprietary Love Mod 29 Hobo wheel set, pretty nice, bit heavy, but uh, they do the job. They're robust and they're strong, which is what I want. SLX crank set. XT clipless paddles. Uh, ooh, Oddy grips, rental carbon bar, 35 mil Pisky stem, another Love Mud proprietary component. Hope C clamp, Eastern EC70 or uh, EC90 carbon seat post. Physic Gobi XM Kiam saddle. Surly uh, single speed chain ring and rear sprocket. Surly singulator chain tensioners, quite useful. I could probably get away without it, but I quite like it. Uh, KMC nine speed chain. That pretty much sums it up, really. I'm gonna get out on it this weekend. Do my kind of regular 100K run uh, on a kind of single speed session with a really good, stiff, challenging climb right in the middle. Um, and we'll see how it gets on and I'll come back. Maybe I'll do a bit of filming this weekend. Thanks for stopping by. You can check out the Sonder Frontier at uh, outkit.com. Click on the Sonder Bikes link on their page on the drop down menu and you'll see the Frontier and you can check it out. I think it's 299 for the frame and fork option and they do some build options as well, which is pretty cool. That's probably about it, really. Um, yeah, chasetherainbow.co.uk, outkit.com, check them both out, give us a like, share, comment, subscribe, would be very nice, that's always useful. Um, uh, yeah, if you like it. Thank you very much, see you soon, bye bye.